Hey guys, this is Austin. I wanted to do a quick video um, about doing one take music videos. Last December was my first time actually doing one of those and uh, we partnered up with The Creek Music, which is our music team here at The Creek Church, who wanted um, four videos for this Christmas EP that was going to be released. And so we did three of those as one take videos and feel like we learned quite a bit. Um, and so first of all, when you're going to shoot one of these videos, um, make sure that you pick a great location um, because the location of this video is one of the only things that you have since it's one take. Uh, and so it really needs to fit the song. It really needs to help to create the mood that you need um, and support uh, the feeling of the song and the artist and, and their brand and that kind of thing. So. Uh, the, the video we're going to take a look at is O Come O Come Emmanuel, and uh, we'll start that now. And we shot this one in the basement of a gym, an old gym at um, a college downtown in London, Kentucky called Sue Bennett. And the college is no longer active, but um, the gentleman that owns the place allowed us to shoot there. This is actually... Um, uh, just a very small room. We walked into this room and there was a bunch of junk laying around. We literally had to move stuff just to fit in there. Um, but we really liked it because this song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, is coming from a place of darkness and a place where people are longing for God to come and be with them. And so it's really not um, a joyful song. Uh, it's really a plea for God to come. And so uh, we wanted to portray that with this uh, this location that you know it's down in this basement there's there's stuff everywhere it's kind of messy and junky uh, and dark and so that's why we went with the location um, the next thing you need to think about or at least another thing you need to think about when doing music videos one take music videos is the lighting uh, we walked in and the first thing we always do of course is check and see what the natural lights giving us and if we can get away with that natural light if we can uh, use that alone we will do that otherwise we'll bring in some some lighting to supplement but uh, here we had these great uh, little windows and we actually had this window that's behind her head right now that we blocked a little bit with a piece of wood um, because it was causing uh, just a little bit of a distraction back there and so we blocked that up a little bit you still get light from the top half of that window and the side of that window um, but that little open spot was kind of distracting and then this other window of course uh, is really acting as her key light and we positioned her to where it would be uh, more of a front light for her and for uh, the male it would be more of a backlight a rim light um, kind of a side light edge in the edge of his face so we just wanted it to be uh, more flattering for her and so the way you position uh, your talent is uh, crucial in these uh, shoots so we positioned her like I said for that light but also uh, we placed them for uh, this two shot that's coming up with the both of them when they're singing um, and then the third thing is to know the song to know what's going to be happening in the song to know the pace of the song to know when things change um, and what to do when those things happen and so um, Dalton the male in this song has a part coming up here where he kind of takes over So we just push into him a little bit. Sarah's singing, but really not featured. Um, so we're just hanging on him. And then she's got this part coming up where she changes. And so we're going to move over to her with this shot. And this is kind of the most energetic part of the song. So we're going to push into her. We're going to walk towards her and really try to capture that. And then the last thing you'll notice is, of course, the camera work. And we decided to go handheld with all of these, um, really just to add to the organic feeling of these one-take videos because they are organic in nature and um, you are capturing what it is that they give you. And it's all in one take. So um, my personal preference on these is to keep them handheld. Uh, we thought we shot with uh, an easy rig on this, which was the first time that I, I shot with an easy rig as well. But uh, that's just a couple of things. First of all, the location, um, the lighting, 
uh, make sure that uh, if you don't have good natural lighting, um, and a lot of times you can make it work as long as you position the people right. But if you don't, make sure you have what you need. You're going to get enough exposure. Um, and the song, know the song, uh, know the mood of the song, know when the song changes, know what happens in the song. And then uh, consider your camera work. Um, consider um, the type of video it is, um, the mood and the brand of the um, talent that you're working with, and make a decision whether this needs to be handheld or whether this needs to be, uh, you know, shot on a dolly or uh, some kind of stabilizer or tripod locked off or whatever. Um, whatever serves the song and the artist the best, of course, as always. So uh, that's just a couple of things that um, we learned this year. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And if it was, we'd love for you to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have questions, you can leave those in the comments below. And we will do our best to get to those as quickly as possible. We'll see you next time.